Hello, fishing fans. It's Matthew Upton at Ross, and it is Monday, August 1st, the 1st of August. So I hope you guys all had a good weekend. And we're going to look at the Northeast United States, um, the conditions offshore, to help you guys out and kind of dial you in for the rest of the week. We're looking at sea surface temperature and ocean color chlorophyll data and again you know sea surface temperature your oranges and your reds yellows are your warmer water your greens and blues are your cooler water so what we've noticed this past week i know the uh, huck uh, big fish classic was this past weekend and congratulations to our clients and to the winners of that tournament sounds like some big eye were caught not a whole lot of marlin again but um Hopefully things are going to get better here in the next couple of weeks. So, and let's see, what do we got going on today? Today we got a little bit of clouds here. You can see a little bit of clouds in the south down by North Carolina the last few days. But this is mainly imagery from the last two to three days over the weekend to give you an overview of the conditions. And what, what do we notice here? You can't see it real crystal clear, but there is a clockwise rotating eddy off of baltimore canyon from what i've heard some of the better marlin conditions which or catches have been in and around the baltimore canyon but again the, the overall bite between hudson and norfolk i think has been really slow the last few weeks and um, just blended water lots of greener water not not um, ideal conditions, but there are some fish out there, guys. It's going to take it's going to take uh, some luck and some work for the White Marlin Open coming up here next week. So stay tuned here to Ross. We'll get you get you the better location. So what you have here is we're still keeping an eye on this large clockwise warm core ring, Gulf Stream warm, warm core ring way offshore. Conditions look really good. You know, this water's up to 80 degrees. It looks really good. Hydro oceanographer, or let's see. Yeah, hydrographer, oceanographer, beach. Atlantis canyons are starting to get better. There's been reports of, of marlin and tuna in the Atlantis canyons. There's a, there is a counterclockwise eddy that spun off from this clock, large clockwise eddy. And there is also a clockwise rotation eddy over the fishtails area as well. So this water is moving west, and we're gonna we might have some promising conditions here. Hudson to Tom's Linden Cole in the next couple of weeks, but let's just um let's just stay tuned and see what happens here. We got uh, some really decent water inshore actually off of Montauk, Block Island, Nantucket. And you guys in the Gulf of Maine, you know, give us a call. We got water up to 70, 72 degrees offshore, some blue-green water also. There's some decent conditions here for tuna, not just bluefin. Now we're talking sometimes some, some yellowfin migrate up in here and other species you can catch, even even dolphin for, dolphin fish, believe it or not, in this in the Gulf of Maine area this time of year once in a while. So the Gulf Stream, um, I believe it's up to 84 degrees or so, 83, 84 degrees. And we got a couple of really nice large eddies here offshore. Um, but what we're really looking at is the canyons there. Even down by Virginia, North Carolina, there's been a clockwise eddy inshore here between, oh, south of Norfolk Canyon, like Cigar, Fowl, Good Bottom area. It's bringing in some some bluer Gulf Stream water, and I haven't heard a whole lot of reports, but there's got to be some decent tuna and marlin action in this area, hopefully, hopefully better than the canyons up north. But what we've seen here this past week, there's also, well, this time of year, it's kind you kind of have to start looking at the ocean color chlorophyll day to get a better idea of the water mass boundaries and the main features. There, can't see it too well, but there's actually some inshore eddies, clockwise eddies that are inshore creating some decent water. Lots of upwelling that is um, 
pushing offshore a little bit. This is greener, cooler water, but creating some nice boundaries inshore. Um, I think tuna has been picking up inshore. I know that there has been a few big guys. I've talked to some longliners recently. There's a few swordfish and a decent amount of big eye tuna, actually, offshore of the 100 fathoms, Wilmington, Baltimore, poor man's area. So there, there's fish around. It's just not a lot of features to hold the fish and bait. Not a, not a lot of squid around either this year. So every year is different. And this is one of those years that's a little bit slightly different, but let's look at the ocean color chlorophyll day. We had some, some problems with clouds again in this area as well, but you can see this nice blue water up and in off of uh, Oregon Inlet to Virginia. You have a, you can kind of see the, the eddies a little bit better off of Baltimore Canyon. There's also an eddy with some bluer water off out here off of Wilmington Canyon, there's some rotation up here. There may be some, there may be some rotation up here off of Tom's as well, but look at all this green, we call it green turbid water that is coming down and from the, from the north. This is usually water you want to avoid. And there's some nice, decent breaks inshore off of New Jersey here that, that must, should be pretty decent for some tuna action. Let's see what else is going on. There is, you can kind of see that that rotation, clockwise rotation off the fishtails here. Um, there is a counterclockwise rotation off of Atlantis Canyons, but these are creating some good conditions here in the canyons out east. And blue water all the way up inshore off of Martha's Vineyard area and Block Island. This edge here looks really decent. Fortuna, even mahi, maybe even white marlin. White marlin come in this this close this time of year up off of Nantucket if the conditions are right. But there's some really good conditions out here, guys, in the east. And we're and, and, and you guys from you know New Jersey, New Jersey, Delaware, Maryland, we're hoping. I don't know if it's going to be in time for the white marlin, but we're hoping this stuff starts coming in to just to your area here in the next couple of weeks. So maybe not. For the White Marlin Open that starts on next Monday, but definitely, you know, stay tuned here for the in a couple weeks to see what's going on. I am not going, we are not going to do an, a North overall video um, next week for the White Marlin Open. Just so we can honor our clients that fish that tournament and not give a whole lot of information out. But please give us a call. Uh, 321 723 5759. Go to our website, www.ross.com, and get your orders in for the White Marlin Open next week. It should be very interesting, and we'll try to get you the best, put you in the best location to win that tournament. So stay tuned. Thank you for all your support, and have a great week, everybody.